When's the last time you nearly turned back? Stop for a moment amidst the rush. Close your eyes, if you like. Imagine that moment you started something hard and were immediately dissuaded. What were you staring down? The door of a plane, a car, a home, a hospital, a church, a pile of paperwork, another person's face, your own reflection. For her, it was the path to the summit of Chiripo in the darkness of the wee hours. She had prepared so carefully for days, weeks. At the end of all that, she had walked only 500 meters. She found that this was quite enough. She decided to turn back. Then something drew her on. Maybe it was the mountain, which left her devastated and sick after that first trip, but in the end would strengthen her legs and lungs. Why? Because she returned once more. Twice more. More than 100 times. Once she became a certified guide, that mountain's first woman guide, to be exact, it would become her workplace. She would take countless others up the path that had once seemed insurmountable. She would feed them their snacks, counsel them through their pain. Each time, she passes a sign at the park entrance that quotes Jorge Luis Borges, From my weakness, I got a strength that never left me. Isn't that the way? From buckling knees, a quavering voice, the pit of the stomach that suddenly seems endless, something arises that makes no sense. Maybe it is the mountain, whatever your mountain is, that draws it out. Silent, in the dark, it asks a question we think we cannot answer and knocks the air right out of us. But from that free-fall void just before we give way, that place where we gasp for air as thin and rare as it is on a country's tallest peak, something emerges in spite of us, an answer that we'll one day understand. I'm Catherine Stanley Obando, and I wrote this text for our bilingual digital magazine, El Colectivo 506. It was inspired by the story of Katia Pereira of Chiripo B&K Tours, featured on Siete Dias on Costa Rica's Channel 7 in 2021. Our weekly Media Naranja column tells short love stories with a Costa Rican twist. This podcast was written and produced by Monica Quesada Cordero and Catherine Stanley Obando for El Colectivo 506 a women-led journalism organization for and from Costa Rica that focuses on solutions journalism and rural communities. Thank you to Maria Pretis for composing our theme. Please rate and review this podcast. Follow us across social media at El Colectivo 506 and support our independent newsroom by becoming an annual member at elcolectivo506.com backslash membership.